Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Tyler Sports Cards. I'm posting this video on Tuesday, October 27th. So if there's a game six of the World Series, it is tonight and I'm sure it's a very exciting series, but I don't know yet because I'm actually recording this October 19th, uh, the day before the World Series starts just because I have a busy schedule up ahead but want to kind of space out my content. Anyways, today coming at you have my third and final box, a Topps Gold Label. If you've been following along, you know that's been coming up. I opened my first box uh, a week and a half ago, and I got a Mike Brousseau autograph, as long with a Kyle Lewis rookie card, and then I had a nicer break, I would say, even though the autograph was a little less, um, with last Monday with a Jalen Davis autograph, and then some super nice base cards, a Gavin Lux out of 150, a Kyle Lewis Black, Kyle Lewis Class 3, a Tim Anderson out of 50, so a really nice break, really hoping to hit some gold here not a nice little pun on gold label with my third and final break for sure would like to hit a bigger named autograph than my last couple no offense to mike Brousseau and jalen davis hey maybe mike Brousseau's had a good week i don't know according to this a week ahead um this is the thicker card for sure kind of sometimes i don't want to feel the thicker card because then maybe i got a redemption you know because it's Luis robert boba shed redemptions but uh so is aaron hicks so's um, Eugenio Suarez, among others. But let's get right into it. Doesn't mean it's a bad autograph. I've certainly seen some really nice ones that are not redemptions. But let's get it started. Jackie Robinson, Freddie Freeman, my prediction for the NL MVP, a black Chris Bryant, Jacob deGrom, and Blake Snell of the Rays, who are in the World Series here. Carlos Santana, is that my second one? I don't remember if the other one was class one, right? It was. I've got two of the exact same card. The blue class one, Gavin Lux. This one's numbered 62 of 150. I don't have the other blue one with me right here, but that was also out of 150. So not the worst card to get a duplicate of though. Just finish off the pack here. Correa, class three, uh, Ricky Henderson, class two, Justin Verlander and Clevenger, but all right, another blue Gavin Lux class one. If I'm gonna duplicate on some color, I'm not hitting on that. Hopefully I don't duplicate on my autograph though from that box. Would like a little better from Jalen Davis than Jalen Davis. No offense to him. Pack number three. Let's try to get a Luis Robert base card. That's what I'd really like. Glaber, nice red Jorge Soler out of 50. Not the best name there, but I like the red. For sure, that's class two, just like my last time was a red class two, Tim Anderson. So duplicating on AL Central class two reds. Got Thor class three, they're nice, and it's a class two. Let's go, Luis Robert, that's what I wanted. I just wanted to get a Luis Robert base card because I really like Luis. Anacal class one. All right, I'm liking this box so far too. We got the Luis Robert class two. If I can pick him up here, just being careful. And a Jorge Soler Red out of 50, Class 2. Oops. There we go. Very nice. I'm going to top load Luis. My projection for number 2 in AL Rookie of the Year behind Kyle Lewis. So, I hit Luis. I hit Lux. I hit. I didn't get Bo Bichette, but we still got time. I hit, I hit a 3 Kyle Lewis so far in my two other boxes. Very nice. Three packs to go. JT Real Muto, he's a free agent. Where's he gonna go? Nice Ozzy Alves black. Create another pile for the other blacks here. Nice Aaron Judge class two black. I like that too. Paul Goldschmidt class two and Shohei. Nice couple blacks there. Sucks are getting no autographs in my first box. Or not no autographs, no uh, color in my first box. I've got two numbered color in each of my last two. Ichiro, nice Garrett Cole, class three. Vladdy, oops, wrong pile. Vladdy, Clayton Kershaw, and nice Brendan McKay, Brendan McKay, class one. Solid rookie card there. Last pack here. Mookie Betts of the Dodgers, class one. Nice Nico rookie card, class one. Nice Black Correa, class one. Nice, another Gavin Lux, and this is a class two, so a little 
different design there. Don't hate that. And a Tatis class one to end the base cards. Well, I guess I'll have two base cards in the autograph, but last fully base card pack. All right. Very nice, Gavin. All right. This is it. Last pack of gold label for me this year for sure. Let's end it on a bang with a big name, not Wrangle Ravello or Hunter Harvey. Nice JD Black class one. On the back, we have a Yoan. Last autograph. Let's hit it big. It's a Miami Marlin. So, Jordan Yamamoto. Yep. I should have known. <laughs> it's all right, though. I mean, we got some nice cards here. But certainly wasn't the best for my autographs with gold label. I mean, super nice cards. But Jordan Yamamoto's uh, signed so much this year in every product. So, I should have known. But... Really nice. Obviously, he had some... I think his overall area was actually super poor this year. It might have been the double digits. All because he pitched that entire, like... I think he loved 13 runs in that one game where the Braves beat the Marlins 29-9, to I believe, was the final score. So, really swayed his ERA. Still a rookie. I know they still had hope for him. They got him from the Cardinals, or... Was he Brewers or Cardinals? I, I think they got him from the Brewers in the Yelich trade. Because Gallon was the pitcher that went from the Cardinals and he was doing the trade, so... Still believe in Yamamoto. Obviously, it's a pitcher order for a low-market team, but is what it is. Got some nice base, though. Got to be optimistic somehow. Another Gavin Lux out of 150, Class 1. A nice red Jorge Soler, Class 2. My man, Luis Robert, Class 2 base. I like that a lot. And also a Gavin Lux, Class 2 base. All right. Feel free to go follow my Instagram down in the description below. I'd appreciate it very much. Still running a giveaway here if I can get to 100 subscribers. Uh, also, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to this video if you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, I hope you did because I try to please my viewers as much as possible, and I would appreciate that very much. Um, going forward, more Chronicles Blasters. I know it's probably going to get annoying with how much Chronicles I'm going to be opening here because overall I think I've had... I still got some to go, but I have 13 blasters of Chronicles, so kind of ridiculous. But I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to try to break it up as much as possible. Probably only doing, like, two per video uh, moving forward, because I had the three over the weekend, obviously. But, um, yeah, thank you for joining, and I look forward to the next time.